Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So today we're going to take on a mission. We've moved planets. Uh, let's go to the star map here real quick. Uh, we found a planet 11, day, 11 days away from where we were. We were at Gillingham. Now we're here at uh, uh, Soder uh, Talj. And um, it's not a bad planet manufacturing large population. Uh, it's, it's okay. Um, now it's um, got two factions on it, uh, Federated Sons and uh, the Planetary Government. Planetary Government seems to have the most control. Um, it's a two skull, but unfortunately all of the missions here, I'll show you here the contracts. We've only got one that we can really take. It's this one here. Everything else is like ridiculous. <laughs> So we're going to take the one mission uh, and then have to bail this planet. So if we look at the Argo real quick, uh, we're close to the end of the like for our financial report here. So we're going to have to take some cash on this mission. Uh, we did get, if we go to engineering, we did get the, uh, oh, not this guy, that's the one we're working on, uh, improved automation completed. Uh, between episodes so it gives us plus two tech points and we're working on doing another one here also in the store here I was able to pick up a defense gyro which I put into if we go into the mech base here I put it in this hunchback because it was did, didn't have a gyro but the uh, defense gyro here if I can find it um, should be here somewhere uh, there we go uh, it gives us plus one evasion pips and plus one defense and maintains the 40 stability threshold which is awesome. So that's going to keep our PPC hunchback alive. So we're going to do that. Um, but we got our lance up and running again. And Steve is now back. So what we're going to do is we're going to just quickly go and pull that mission off. I'm not going to bother uh, um, doing anything else on this planet, but we're going to need some cash. So we're going to negotiate this. And I think probably we're going to go 3 or 13. Should give us enough Make, it'll make up for any repairs we have to do. We're going to accept this. And we're going to move uh, Hellcat back into the crab. And we'll bring Steve back in, in the hunchback here, and deploy and get this done. Command interface initiated. All right, turrets and buildings and mechs, oh my. I'm good to go, Commander. All right, let's move up and see what our our uh, opposition is today. Okay, four mechs, nice. Let's hope they got some with ferrofibrous. Gonna take the guys to the left here first, I think. Let's hope their turrets don't have any missile launchers. Something tells me these guys are probably light mechs. Commander. On my way. Might as well stay together. So again, I'm not sure why we're getting lag here. Seems that some maps I get mech lag for some reason. Alright, Hellcat. Oh, you're trapped. Sorry about that. Uh, I wish I knew that happened. Waiting for the right move. Oh, what do we got here? Standing by. All right, let's engage. Aye, aye. Oh, crab, nice. Standard loadout. Those light AC fives. Be nice to pick up an extra one. Simply because um, if we lose a cr an arm off the crab, we got to replace that light AC five with something. Jenner. Laser Jenner. Okay. I'm 
Yeah, let's get up to here. Roger. That's fine. And we're gonna try and kill this crab, so fire everything. Roger. What's wrong? You having performance issues shooting against another crab? Really? Come on. It's okay, we'll get PPCs on in a second here. Oh, another crab. Ah, large laser version too. They are. Let's move the hunch back to the foreground. I'm gonna fire on the side of this guy again. All weapons committed. Okay, torso hit. Head hit. I think we're gonna back up with Rhino. I'm gonna fill this gap so they can't come behind us. I'm gonna dump everything on this guy. Okay, that's a torso hit. Come on, take that. Oh, explosion. Oh, it's explosion contained though. Well, all the MMLs are gone. Should have at least knocked him back a turn as well. Yeah, they got missile launchers. All the AC5s are out of action now. Okay. My leggy crab. It's like all of a sudden it goes to like 8 or, or 10 frames per second when their mechs are moving. No idea why that is. And it's just on certain maps too, that's why I can't understand. Those guys are fast. Waiting for orders. Um. Uh, right side. Yeah, because I think we can finish this guy up. We'll get our stability back. Fire everything on this guy. Going down. Boom. Well, if if anything else, we'll get a light AC5. Uh, let's move into here. Heading out. What is up with the animation? I'm not doing anything in the background of my computer either, so it's not it's not me. Let's shoot this Jenner. It's got low armor. Good chances to hit. Same thing, Jenner. Got to hit more times than that with the PPCs. Ah, crap. Well, at least he missed. Ready for orders. Move back on this side and dump everything into this guy. Confirm. Okay, he's going down. Arm gone. So we should be able to finish this guy up next turn. Four medium lasers off the field. Here comes the turrets. That's a lot of hits. Melee. Not a smart move. Like the melee am animation. Oh, nice hit. The melee animation works just fine. Warning. Armor breached. It's so strange how that is. Okay, let's 
guy wants to play the back game, we can play the back game. And we are actually quite good at it. I know it's like the ace, it's the, uh, yeah, right here. That better be green. That's green, okay. I know it's the uh, AI. They want to push and do what they can. But, um, really, guys, don't do it. Unless you've got a way out, don't do it. Okay, that guy's gone. Enemy and then that crab's gonna take a load of missiles in the back. And then it'll just be the... Oh, he's gonna do it too, is he? So watch. See? Now, it's not my machine. It can't be my machine. It's the running animations all chuggy, and then as soon as it goes to melee, the melee animation is smooth as silk. I don't understand how that is. It's got to be something to do with the map, because it doesn't happen on every map. Yeah, it's more than a stability fail check. It's a mech fail. So last turn, you're going to dump those missiles on me, buddy, so enjoy it while you can. This hunchback's going down. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Better not be me. This guy's going down. So he's the regular hunchback with 20 armor in the back. The AC, he was better off shooting the AC-20 when he had the chance, but... How much you can really do about it. Fire everything. There goes all his weapons, pretty much. Yes, Commander. Uh... Yeah, it's just burrow through his side. His right torso is gone, so not much you can do about that. Fire everything. He's going down, Jock! Okay, pilot injured. Uh, eight points left in the CT. Well, let's see if we can take this torso. What the hell? How do we miss with both PPs? I guess we were too close. I can accept that. Let's just get up here. I'm here. All right, let's start getting eyes on the turrets. Got it. Full speed, no target. Now we got a target right here. Lots of armor too. Oh, not bad. Most of the armor is gone now. Oh, I can't see the turret from there. Well, that's interesting. Let's kill this building then. Um, just thinking here for a second. This one's got a hundred too. Let's multi-target. Hello. There we go. Do this way. Should be able to kill it with these two PPCs. Nice. And that guy's almost gone, too. Uh, okay, it has to be more than... Yeah, it's down to 22, okay. It said 47 there, and I was like, what? I can only be 47. Um, crap, we're going to see this other turret. So I guess we better be here. We're going to do that. So this guy's got... 
hundred and something left. This guy's got a full two hundred. He's got an AC twenty two. Okay, well, our missiles aren't going to do any good. This guy's got 210, and I can do 80, 110. Oh, God. 48 and 36. Can't do enough. So we can kill this guy. Let's multi-target though. Let's do this and this, and B will get this SRM four. Multiple targets confirmed. There we go, and we should be able to kill this second building here. Nice. Payday. Receiving you. Wow. Okay. Uh. I guess I should be paying more attention to the terrain here. That's crazy. Alright. It's hard to tell when you're so zoomed back. Ouch. Okay. Thank goodness that thing missed. Except now I... <laughs> I said that and I took a head hit. I gotta stop talking. Yes, Just stop it. Okay, not sure if it's just because this turret's got eyes on. Okay, well he shouldn't be able to direct fire me from there if I can't direct fire him. So we're gonna dump everything into this guy. Get a good start on him. Oh, almost got him. Standing by. Let's get you up here. I wonder if we're going to have a second... Uh, I would rather have them shoot at Steve right now. I wonder if we're going to have a second um, wave of guys coming in here. Doesn't seem like it. You would think they'd be here already if they were. So put the mediums on B, everything else on A. Okay, that's a good start. Should be able to kill this one. Oh, it's got a Rack 5 on it. The other one. Target destroyed. Good to go. That's not enough to kill him. That might be if we get lucky. Turn the right side to him, I think. Yeah, we're going to Vigilance just because of the damage we were taking and fire on this guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes! Nice! I didn't, I wasn't convinced we were going to get that. Okay, they can't see us, so... Alright, All right, let's shoot up another building. That was gone. Okay, we can get out of here if we want. But what I want, really, is that last turret. Yeah, let's just move Steve up here. We got the range, so if that turret becomes visible, we can kill it. Um. Uh, oh, was that not a targeted building? That last one. Engaging target. Really? Ready for orders. Or is that just building number three? I think that's just building number three. Target acquired. That should be it for that one. Yep. It's time to bug out. Get to the LZ Told you we ain't going anywhere. 
You got some turret revenge. Standing by. There we go. Eyes on. Well, unfortunately, there's no uh, additional lance. Bombast laser, eh? All right, firing on this guy. Okay, who gets to go next? Commander. It's all yours. Target. See, even at that, even 65%. Well, I guess that's not too bad for a static target at that distance. All right, there we go. Easy money, easy salvage. Mission. All right, increasing 35%. 509,000 we made. Awesome. So we're going to have a bit of work to do on the Hunchback, but not a whole lot. We didn't take any crits, I don't think. Um, yeah, so we should be good, I think. Yeah, we're going to have to leave this planet anyway. It's a good thing we're 11 days to another one. So we could take the crab parts. The light AC-5 is a possibility. I'm just going to toss it in there for now. It's nice to have a backup weapon in case we lose an arm off the crab. But I want to find what we got down here. Cooling pods, which are awesome. And that's about it, really. So we could take the two cooling pods and the AC-5 and just go with that, I think. Another ER medium here. ER large. 50 damage, 35 heat, though. Plus one accuracy. Uh, I'm going to take the backup weapon, I think. One evasion pips ignored. Yeah, we're going to take the backup weapon. We definitely need this just in case. Um, something bad happens with the crab. So we'll do that. Alright, we've got a crab part. Cool. Hunchback part, Jenner part. ER large laser. We got it. Nice. A couple of bonus medium lasers, which we can drop into some of our mechs, I think. Double heatsink. Excellent. So we did really well on this one. Okay, 34,000. Not bad. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, we got to jump systems. How many more days until our... Uh, yeah, we can't really do much. How many more days until our Jaeger mech is back here? 21. It's not actually going to be 21, but... We're going to adjust this here. So I'm going to move. So we want to get this guy repaired. So let's move him up. And then 10 days. Uh, it's, which way is it better to go here? So it'll be 14 and 12. Yeah, that's the better way to go, I think. So, or is it? Let's move. Then it'll be seven. Then it'll take this one, which will be twelve, and this one will be four. Yeah, so we're gonna go. We're, it's still the same. We're gonna go that route. Uh, so let's have a look around here now. We're gonna get the. Uh, I want to get the Jager mech into, at least into the secondary repairs, before we uh, end the episode. Um, let's keep making our way along here. I'm going to raid the periphery. Oh, Great George, only four, uh, only nine days here. Nice. It's owned by the Federated Sons. It doesn't give me a percentage of ownership, so it's probably 100%. Yeah, it's so it's 100% Federated Sons. So we're going to go here. Let's hope, hope we get more two skull missions than we got in the, in the past, but, uh, to see here. So let's go there. 25 grand. We got the cash for that. No problem. Yeah, I really love these new animations. They're fantastic. Okay, so that's going to help. Let's not spend any more money at the moment. We need 200,000 for the next uh, uh, Mech Bay update. So we're going to leave that for now. Although I think it's well, I don't know if that plus one's really going to help out that much right now. 
Okay, financial reports coming up. I wonder if I should, uh, let's just pause this once this lands. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to save a bit of cash. So, oh, I can't. Got to finish finish this guy up first. Okay, never mind. I was going to say we should just drop the Centurion. Actually, let's drop the Wolverine into the into the mech bay. That'll save a little bit of money. Yeah, 20 grand. I mean, saves a little bit. I was going to do the same thing with the Centurion because I think we're going to be stripping some of this stuff off the Centurion in a minute. But uh, we'll leave it like that for now. Alright, accept that. So there goes about half of our cash. Okay, let's have a look here. I think we got one more day after we arrive for the Jager mech to be repaired. Yep, oh, repaired on the same day. So we did, once we got that uh, refit harness up and going, we did lose a day off the uh, repair time. Okay, let's see if we got any good components here. Uh, double plus PPC. Minus 5 heat, double stability damage. This one's what? Plus 10, yeah. Damage is good, but... Uh, exchanger. Another defense gyro. Melee gyro. Plus 1 melee accuracy. Minus 10% self death from above damage. This is just a general exchanger, right? Yeah. Minus 10% weapon heat. Still pretty good, though. Um, okay, so there's nothing really here we want at the moment. So let's go to the mech bay. Jager mech's back. Let's see what it's going to take to re rebuild this guy. Centurion's back shortly. So, wow. Heat bank's gone. The PPC's gone. Um... Well, we did get that ER large laser. We could drop that in for now. We lost the medium laser in here too. So we could put an accuracy medium laser, the ER large laser. We could go to here and we could drop in the two light machine guns. I see this AC-20 here and I'm like, hey, maybe we should make an AC-20 boat. Eight percent chance to jam after firing. Huh. Still have four tons free. That was basically heat sinks and stuff, right? So if we go here, what's our heat sinking at right now? It's horrible. We could drop these two guys in. A little better. Yeah, but you know what? I don't know. Be nice to drop a warfare suite in too. Huh. What else do we have here? Nothing really, eh? That's the sad thing. We just don't really have anything else we can uh, put in this guy. I mean, we could lower the engine size. It's, what, a 260 right now? We can make it a 250. 15 and a half tons. That's one ton. This is putting out five extra heat than it was before, but this guy's putting out two less, so... Wait, that's heat 12. Heat 11. Why is this medium laser heat 12? Huh. Yeah, so we're plus six heat. 
the heat bank was really helping out before. And if we lower the engine slightly, get out a double heat sink, that would help out. Maybe this isn't the right loadout. Although I don't know what else would I, I mean, ballistic wise. You could drop an AC-10 on each arm. AC-20. Machine gun array. Gotta be close for this to work. I don't know, I'm just not feeling this right now. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's get it back to close to where it was. Let's reduce the engine slightly. Um, let's get the double heat sink in here. Uh, where are you? Here you are. Put it in. So we're, you know, that's not so bad. It's not so bad. Could be a lot worse. We won't be firing our mediums all the time either. I can leave mediums off if I have to. The ER large. I mean, maybe that's the wrong weapon to put in there. We don't really have anything bigger. Let's check the store here. Maybe we maybe we do buy a different PPC or something. It's still those are 40 heat, right? And more weight. This is minus five heat. 55 damage, 30 heat, but it's two extra tons. It's not really worth it. Extra damage. Well, no matter how we slice it, we're losing damage off this guy. I wonder if we run with the same lance we've got going on right now. I mean, I could pull the Ultra 5. Let's just back up out of here for a second. The other thing we could do, uh, we got a little bit of time, so let's um, get our mechs back here. Hey, throw a party for Rhino. Hey, they're no longer unstable. Nice. Um, so let's go to the bays real quick. So the Centurion we've been talking about is having a hard time. I mean, the one thing we could do is pull the Ultra out of his arm. I was just thinking we could make him an AC-20 boat, but is it really going to, is it really going to help? Because we're not going to have, be able to put much other weaponry on this guy other than this. Although we do have the bonus weapon mount in his arm, which helps with hitting. But this guy should really be a missile boat more than anything, I think. So if we just... Just want to try something here real quick. Leave that off. Actually, let's leave the weapon mount in for a second. Um... We got two free heat sinks, right? Uh, no, because it's a double heat sink kit in there, right? Um, leave the DNI cockpit for now. Actually, that's a melee accuracy one, so let's take that out. Let's put in um, just one of these guys. Give him bonus initiative. That's fine. So, probably going to need a hand on this side too. And let's have a look now then at our missile system. So if we go with Thunderbolts, that's a 12 ton Thunderbolt for 100 damage. And this is uses this uses AC 20 ammo if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. So. Let's drop in. We've got case, right? 
we not have any case lying around? I thought we did. Am I just not seeing it? I'm not... I guess it's not here. I guess we used it somewhere. Uh, or do we see it in the store? If we got a case in the store, I'll buy it. No. Yeah. Maybe we saw it in a different store. That's what I'm probably thinking of. Alright, so AC-20 ammo. Uh, let's put more on this side. We're going to shelter this side, I think. So the AC-20... This is 33 heat. And then ballistic wise, can't go with anything big. We could put a light rifle in, that's like four tons. And no heat. Or, since we're in close, we could put a machine gun array. And then like half a ton of ammo, which I don't know if they sell half tons in the store anymore, do they? I haven't seen any. Not seen any. Nope. There's gotta be a ton of machine gun ammo. And we're still at what here? One and a half tons left. Two and a half tons. Now this will be point for point defense. This range 630. Not that far. But we don't have any anything for accuracy for this guy. That's the problem. Um, I don't think this is going to work. So, what do we have in storage right now? We've got... Wolverine and the Hunchback. Hunchback's got nine laser points. That's the quote unquote disco back. This guy's got two ballistic, one laser, and missile points. Let's ready this guy. Okay, that's going to be one day, right? One day. Let's get it. Let's get both these guys back. Um, sorry, this is taking a long time, but we gotta lay this out here. Okay. Yeah, I know we need to install a fusion. I want to try something. I know we were talking about making the um, Wolverine Amelia mech, but I'm wondering if we make this guy a close-range laser mech. We've got the laser points for it. Let's um, do this. A quarter ton left, or three quarters. Let's go full ton. Something like that. And now if we do... Put the hands on here. And we got a double heat sink kit in here. Uh, we got double heat sinks, which we don't need to add because this thing should have tons of heat sinks. Right. Plus one slots, we can drop a double heat sink. Well, we can't we? Plus one slots. Plus one additional installable engine heat sinks. Does that mean I can add one for free? No. Does that have to be a regular heat sink? That's not working either. Huh. We, I don't know. What does this say? Yeah, okay. So we can do that. Alright, that's cool. So, but that still adds a ton. But we can put it in here. It's a double heatsink value. 
right? So we should be 66 now. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So let's add for now the stealth armor. Let's add the warfare suite. We're going to add this guy, I think. The heavier one with increased sensor range, accuracy, reduced signature, all that shiz. Uh, let's add... we got seven tons left. So if we go... One, two, three, four, five, six. Should probably be adding these guys. I'm going to put them in the arms. Seven. Seventy-four, sixty-six. Any way we can get extra weight in this guy? I don't think we have anything else that we can add at this moment. I mean, we could down we could downgrade the warfare suite suite slightly, but this is plus ten percent weapon heat generated, so that's not going to work. Uh, this one, yeah, it doesn't have that. Okay, um, yeah, cock this one for now. Plus one initiative, injury. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the way we have to go with this. And let's do this, because, I mean, this is, like, I think going to give us more damage output overall compared to the Centurion right now. He's hitting okay with the ultra f Ultras, but not so much with everything else. Uh, so let's see how this works out. And once we get a better gyro and internal structure, actually, once this is done, let's confirm this. It's 15 days. So we can't necessarily pull the Centurion out, but we do have Endo Steel in here we can put in there. And we can swap out to the for the DNI cockpit, the arm mounted weapon we can put in there. I think overall this will probably be a better way to go. The Ultra 5 can then go into the Jager mech. And we'd have a PPC and an Ultra 5. I think that's probably how we want to run things. Now we don't really have money till the end of the month to be able to do all this. So we're going to leave this lance as it is for now. And then, um, so we'll pull off a couple missions here. Let's, well, we'll see when we come back. We'll, we'll uh, spend two days, get Saint back. And we're going to call the episode here. So sorry it went so long at the end trying to figure out how the mechs are going to get laid out. But um, I think it's really important. We we're running into a couple of problems. One, the hunchback with the MRMs isn't really working out. Uh, far too low of a hit chance at range, and it really shouldn't be because we should be hitting a lot more often. So maybe changing the MRMs out for uh, the Thunderbolt system or something like that to give a better chance to hit. It'd be nice to get that 100 point damage hits as often as we possibly can. Um, and the Centurion, once again, is missing a lot with all its secondary weapons. So we're going to try this laser hunchback, see how that works. Um, and then we'll get the Jager mech in there with the Ultra on its arm and see how that works too. And we'll try and balance things out. So if you like the episode, please drop a like. If you have any suggestions for the way the, way the mechs should probably be loaded out, uh, let me know. Um, not really sure right now what's going to happen with them, but if you have any suggestions, please drop a, me a message down in the comments. And until next time, we'll see everybody later.